Okay, well, thanks again for doing this this evening, Allison. I appreciate it. Um, I guess to get started, can you tell us a little bit about the topic that you chose for your thesis and how you decided upon that topic? Sure. I chose the topic of teacher leadership, and um, I work as a literacy coach in an elementary school, and so I work primarily with teachers. And one thing I notice in working with teachers is that um, – they they have different personalities, obviously, but what kind of intrigued me is sort of, you know, why do some teachers become the leaders on their teams, or why do some teachers choose to kind of sit back and let someone else take the lead, or, you know, why do some spend hours at home doing work versus others kind of limit themselves to school? So um, I wanted to learn more kind of about what causes a teacher to become a leader, and, and how can that be encouraged among um, all teachers? Okay. When you decided upon this initial topic, um, thinking back to when you started your literature review in 689, um, how did that look? Like, how did, uh, how did you structure it? Um, initially, I wasn't really sure how to structure it because I kept my topic kind of broad, which I think made things more difficult for me. Um, but as I went through and, and read a lot of articles... Um, I created a chart that I think was in one of the sample annotated bibliographies that you showed us. And so it just had, you know, the articles down on the left side and then kind of keywords on the right side. And um, just as I went through, as I started to notice um, common things over and over again, I sort of created that chart. And that chart helped me sort of figure out where the reoccurring um, keywords were. So things like challenges of teacher leadership or roles um, or articles that focused on the elementary level versus the high school level. Um, and that was really helpful for me to organize the literature review. Okay. Um, when you first started, just knowing you were interested in teacher leadership, do you remember some of the things that you started searching right off the bat? Um, especially, so when I started with that, the ProQuest dissertation database, um, that produced tens of thousands of results and so I had to really play around a lot with that in order to narrow it down. Um, so I know I searched um, the keywords like elementary, I tried to search um, student achievement, um, I'm trying to think of what else, I limited it to the years, um, I want to say like from 1980 on because there was a bunch of legislation, that's kind of when teacher leadership showed up in the legislation around 1980 so um, I limited it from there forward. Um, I'm trying to think, I, I'm not sure what other keywords I use, but I really had to sort of play around um, to get it to narrow down. Okay. Um, now that you've finished the process, um, is there something that you really wish you had known when you first started? <laughs> I don't know if it's things I wish I had known, um, <laughs> Because I think you probably made it clear to us that we we're going to revise it quite often. Um, but I think I think it's important for people to know that you will revise and revise and revise, and it's a good thing. Um, it at times can feel like it's never going to end. But um, so I guess just I think it's important for people to not think that like once you write your literature review and submit it, it's done. I mean, for the most part, it kind of is, but there's still going to be things to go back and work on. Um, and then another piece of advice, um, just keep your topic and the research design simple. I think when I went into this, I didn't, not that I wanted to make it complicated, but I think, you know, you kind of want to do this amazing thing and, and keeping it simple and doing it well and understanding it is, is just fine too, you know? Okay. Um, thinking back to the literature review when you were doing 689, are there any specific things about the literature review that you wish you had known starting out? About, um, I don't think so. I mean, I know we, we talked in class about the different ways to kind of organize it, how there's not really the set way. So I think that was kind of difficult at first to think about, like, what structure does fit the information that I'm reading. But I don't know that it's anything that anybody could tell me. It, it, you just kind of have to figure that out from what you're reading. Okay. Um, I guess to finish up with, um, you know, having gone through this process yourself now and 
and having you know a completed thesis that's sitting in the digital commons that's being downloaded by others. Um, for folks that are either just starting this overall journey or folks that maybe you know have their topic in their literature review and now are moving towards the study phase, um, you know, so the more the 689 phase. Um, any other advice that you would, you know, g provide them or any other things that you'd like to say about the process? Um, I think focusing your topic, I think, is, is really helpful because it kind of keeps you guided rather than being so overwhelmed with a lot of information and trying to figure out what to do with that. Um, and then just stay on top of the deadlines because it really helps to kind of break things up and keep you on track along the way so that you don't end up, you know, completely overwhelmed towards the end or, you know, whatever, partway through. Find up, skip a deadline, you come across the next one and suddenly you have, you know, two deadlines to hit by that one. So it's my advice. Stay on top of it or at least stay on top of it as close as you can. I guess speaking of that, um, there are a number of students that are, you know, in – the two cohort classes taking their internship and also starting their thesis journey like you did. Um, mm -hmm. In that particular semester, was there any things that you did that you found especially useful? To sort of juggle all the responsibilities? Yeah. <laughs> Stay organized and plan it out and... Um... I just kind of keep in mind, you know, prioritize as far as what's kind of do one week versus what can you put off, you know, for another week. Um, but it's really just about being organized and, I don't know, staying on top of things. It's a lot of work, but, you know, we survived, we did it. And, you know, in the end, you have this long paper research project that you can be proud of. So. All right. Well, perfect. Thank you very much, Allison. You're welcome.